don't like the Olive Garden. They treat me like family. The Olive Garden has been a favorite Italian-style restaurant for many American families over the years. Today, we're going to explore the 10 best Olive Garden menu items. We hope you're hungry. I am so hungry. Breadsticks. Maybe I can give you half a breadstick later. Breadsticks are a delicious treat. They can be eaten as a side dish or normal main course. They can be dipped in various sauces or just eaten plain. Although breadsticks are usually served with soup, there are some breadsticks so good that they need no other pairing. When you think about the Olive Garden, the first thing that comes to mind is probably their breadsticks rather than their actual entrees. Me likey breadsticks, me likey. That's because their breadsticks are almost unbearably good, far better than any ordinary slice of bread should be. You're not alone if you become a bit dissatisfied when your dinner arrives at the table and the breadsticks are placed to the side. The company serves up around 700 million breadsticks each year. That's an average of three per visitor. But to put it another way, that's enough for practically every American, Canadian, Russian, Japanese, and British citizen to have one. That's a lot of breadsticks, and it's entirely the fault of Olive Garden for making them so delicious. Delicious. Lasagna Frida. Did you eat all four boxes of lasagna? Lasagna is a form of pasta constructed of very wide, flat noodles and is perhaps one of the most recognizable pasta dishes. The dish is an Italian meal consisting of stacked layers of noodles alternating with contents such as ground meat and tomato sauce, vegetables, cheese, including ricotta, mozzarella, and parmesan, and herbs and spices such as garlic, oregano, and basil. Cooked noodles are usually mixed with the other ingredients before being baked to form the finished product. Grated cheese is then put on top of the dish before cooking. After that, the cooked pasta dish is cut into single-serving squares. There are many different styles of lasagna around the world, and leave it to an Americanized Italian food restaurant to create what is possibly the most unhealthy but utterly delicious version. My life has been saved by the miracle of lasagna. Lasagna frita is a delectable take on one of the country's most popular meals. Lightly fried, parmesan breaded lasagna noodles are covered with parmesan cheese and meat sauce and served on a bed of creamy Alfredo sauce. Olive Garden's meat sauce is made with Italian sausage and pan-seared beef, which give the tomatoes, herbs, and vegetables a rich taste. With fried noodles and a creamy Alfredo sauce, the lasagna frita modifies the appearance and adds some other flavors and textures to make a fantastic lasagna. Eggplant Parmigiana. Eggplant Parmesan? If you've been to an Italian restaurant on more than one occasion, you might have sampled the eggplant Parmigiana. It's a traditional Italian meal that has been passed down through the centuries. Although it's a simple dish, there's a lot of science that goes into making it. It's a classic dish that has been around for a long time and loved by many. It's simple to prepare and cook because it doesn't take much attention. The base of this classic southern Italian meal is thinly sliced fresh eggplant. The egg Plant slices are then gently fried after being hand breaded. After stacking fried eggplant, marinara sauce, and mozzarella cheese, cheese and parmigiana, the dish is baked, allowing all of the flavors to melt together. Olive Garden serves this delectable vegetarian dish with a side of pasta. Calabria, Campania, and Sicily all claim credit for the dish's birth, but the exact location is disputed. Outside of Italy, chicken, veal, or another type of meat cutlet or vegetable filling or some of the many variations. If you're searching for a vegetarian main course, the eggplant parmigiana is a good choice. Despite the fact that eggplant is not one of the most popular vegetables in American cuisine, it's a nutrient-dense meal that's high in vitamin C and K, potassium, folate, and manganese, among other things. Chicken and Shrimp Carbonara. She puts cream in her carbonara. Vulgar. Carbonara is a pasta dish containing eggs, bacon, and cheese that is usually served with a creamy sauce. Guanciale, cured pig jowl, and cream were traditionally used. The dish was invented in the late 19th century by a chef at the Ristorante Saporito in Vercelli, Italy. Typically, pecorino romano, parmigiano reggiano, or a combination of the two cheeses is used. The most popular pasta is spaghetti, but fettuccine, rigatone, linguine, and bucatini are also popular. The meat component is usually guanciale or pancetta, however, smoked bacon is a popular replacement outside of Italy. Olive Garden, like always, enjoys putting a spin on 
traditional Italian recipes, and the customers are usually grateful for their creative culinary decisions. I mean, doesn't bacon make everything taste better? Bacon! If you're a bacon fan, Olive Garden has some wonderful options to satiate your appetite. The chicken and shrimp carbonara combines a sautéed chicken, shrimp, and spaghetti with bacon and red peppers. The gently seasoned chicken breast adds to the dish's complexity of flavors and textures. All of the ingredients are then combined in a luscious cream sauce. Oh, and did we mention the bacon? Shrimp Alfredo. Fettuccine Alfredo. Shrimp Alfredo is one of those classic dishes that everyone loves, and everyone has an opinion on how it should be made. Some say it should be heavy on the cream, while others claim that it should be very light. The truth is, there are a lot of variations on this theme, and each one is delicious. If you like seafood, the shrimp alfredo will satisfy your craving. The succulent shrimp are served with fettuccine noodles and a side of Olive Garden's fresh alfredo sauce. Oh, Alfredo sauce. Fettuccine is an Italian word that means little ribbons. Because this pasta is long like spaghetti but wider, each forkful delivers a substantial mouthful. The filling and light Alfredo sauce is made with butter and cream. Try the shrimp Alfredo if you're searching for a dish that will fill you up with flavor and calories. Because sometimes all you want is a hot dish of gooey carbohydrates. What person doesn't dream of such a thing? No one will blame you for going for some fettuccine alfredo when a carton of neon yellow macaroni and cheese won't suffice. The quasi-Italian dinner was most likely conceived in Rome by a cook feeding his wife and child, but it's become a great hit in the United States. Tour of Italy We are in Italy! We are home! Pasta dishes, steaks, and salads are among the Italian-American foods served at Olive Garden. The company promotes its breadsticks and even builds a lunch menu around them. Furthermore, instead of importing soups and sauces from a commissary or an outside vendor, the restaurant takes pride in the fact that its soups and sauces are made fresh every day. Three signature Olive Garden dishes are included in the Olive Garden Tour of Italy. Chicken Parmigiana, Lasagna Classico, and Signature Fettuccine. Alfredo. If you want to try something new, order this entree, which includes three distinct flavors. Of course, with these substantial serving sizes, you'll be stuffed to the brim. Four. A parmesan-coated chicken breast is gently fried to make chicken parmigiana. The fettuccine alfredo is made with heavy cream, garlic, and thick fettuccine noodles. Finally, with layers of noodles, creamy cheeses, and a thick meat sauce, lasagna classico is the ideal Italian dish. Unfortunately, hungry diners who are craving the tour of Italy are going to have to be patient. Why? Well, the special is not currently on the menu, but all hope isn't lost. The dish comes comes and goes from the Olive Garden menu throughout the year. Maybe the anticipation will make the dish even more delicious when you can finally sink your teeth into its carby and cheesy goodness. Cheese ravioli If someone buys your ravioli and gets sick, you could get sued. Ravioli is a type of pasta that is usually filled with meat or cheese and served with a specific sauce, usually tomato-based. It's quite a common dish in Italy and often served as an appetizer or light meal. Ravioli can be served in many different variations and combinations of ingredients. Of course, Olive Garden is no stranger to culinary creativity, but one of their most popular and delectable menu offerings is also one of the most straightforward. When it comes to crowd pleasers, cheese ravioli is a favorite with both youngsters and adults. Do you, do you have cheese ravioli? To offer smooth, creamy comfort food, this classic meal requires high-quality ingredients. The ravioli pasta is filled with a mixture of creamy Italian cheeses. It's the perfect vegetarian dinner with a homemade marinara sauce, if you decide that's the sauce you want. You can also choose a meat sauce made with sausage and beef. Who wouldn't fall in love with a large portion of ravioli and sauce topped with silky melted mozzarella cheese? The meal is complete with a house salad and breadsticks, of course. House salad. Your salad 
is Asgard. No. Olive Garden has something for practically everyone, whether you consider it the closest you'll get to Italy or simply basic Americanized comfort cuisine. Since 1982, it has brought families together around its baskets of limitless breadsticks, family-style salad bowls, and generous plates of pasta. Olive Garden now has over 850 locations, and its pastas, soups, and other dishes continue to attract diners. At Olive Garden, everything you purchase comes with a side of their famous salad served with Italian dressing. It's a familiar constant that we've all come to know and love. The freshness of the components in a salad is the most significant factor in its success. Because you'll be eating lettuce, greens, and veggies uncooked, they must be of excellent quality. And it's full of fresh ingredients, which is part of what makes Olive Garden salad so wonderful, and the reason that its recipe has been reproduced all over the internet. While employees at Olive Garden have admitted that some menu items and components are not fresh, instead arriving frozen or prepped, this is not the case with the chain's iconic house salad. Olive Garden is known to take food safety and quality extremely seriously so that fresh ingredients are preserved in tip-top form. An Olive Garden employee claimed that food is intensely monitored every hour between the lunch and supper shifts with proper food temperatures and cross-contamination safeguards. Fresh ingredients are of course essential. Let's be honest though, it's the salad's dressing that determines how tasty it is. There's the apocalypse. That's one of the things that makes Olive Garden's salad so appealing. Olive Garden's signature Italian dressing has been a fan favorite for over 35 years and is made with a secret blend of Italian spices, oil, and vinegar. A quick look at the ingredients list reveals that it also contains eggs and Romano cheese, which explains why it's so creamy. Fans are obsessed with this salad dressing, and some would drink it down with a straw if given the opportunity. Olive Garden consumers were seeking ways to carry home the chain's popular distinctive dressing long before it was even a thing for companies to offer branded food items in stores. As a result, the firm began selling bottles of it at the restaurant. Olive Garden's famous Italian dressing is now available in grocery stores and online with the signature croutons. Cookie Butter Cake Cookie. The Olive Garden cookie butter cake is sure to please fans and dessert enthusiasts of all types. Crumbled cookies, creamy sweet butter, two layers of light vanilla cake, and a warm caramel sauce go into this delectable treat. Cookie butter is just ground-up speculose cookies combined with powdered sugar and vegetable oil, for those who aren't familiar with the phenomenon. Tell Cookie to melt the butter and bring out the bibs. The spreadable dessert has long been a favorite in Scandinavia, but it only became famous in the United States a few years ago due to Trader Joe's version that went viral. A wonderful dinner is never complete without a delectable dessert. While Olive Garden offers a variety of dessert options, the cookie butter cake is truly unique. The mix of cookie butter, vanilla cake, and warm caramel will put a smile on your face at the conclusion of your meal. Endless soup. This is good soup. All of the soups at Olive Garden are delicious. Zuppa Toscana, minestrone, pasta e fagioli, and chicken gnocchi soup are among the options. Each has its own distinct flavor, and you have plenty of choice based on your preferences. Soups are available in limitless quantities on both the lunch and supper menus at Olive Garden. Because it's served in smaller portions during the lunch hour, it's less expensive than the supper option, which is great for those looking to be a little frugal. Many of the menu items also come with unlimited soup or salad. Uh, uh, salad. No, no, wait, soup, soup! The Zuppa Toscana, Olive Garden's most popular soup, is created with spicy Italian sausage, crisp kale, and brown potatoes in a velvety broth. Everyone who likes the combination of these fresh ingredients will enjoy this soup. Fragrant veggies, beans, and pasta are cooked in a light tomato broth to make their minestrone soup. This vegan soup is Olive Garden's healthiest choice. Pasta e fagioli is a delicious soup with white and red beans, ground meat, tomatoes, and tuberi pasta. Pasta. The noodles and meat combine for a flavorful and delightful experience. The chicken gnocchi is a creamy soup filled with roasted chicken and spinach. The gnocchis are nicely combined with the chicken and spinach for a taste of pure happiness with every bite. Every soup is delicious, and the never-ending bowls allow you to sample them all. 
so you'll truly be able to slurp until your stomach is full of soupy goodness. Get a taste of more great videos. Just tap or click and leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.